Hi, good morning. My name is Margaret and um, I'm going to take you through uh, a short seated Qigong yoga fusion class. Um, I'm in Austria uh, uh, on a skiing trip, but I had a bit of a tumble yesterday, so I'm resting my knee today and uh, it's a great opportunity to practice some Qigong and some Strala Yoga combined. So uh, this is a nice little practice that you can do first thing in the morning before you even get out of bed or if you have some mobility issues you can do it sitting on a chair. Uh, so we'll start with some breathing. Just relax your shoulders, lengthen your spine so as you breathe in through the nose let the top of your head float up and as you breathe out let your shoulders soften and lower your chin a little to open up the back of your neck and close your eyes breathe in through the nose into your belly let your belly expand and rise breathe out through the nose draw the belly button in towards the spine inhale into the belly belly rises exhale the belly softens draw the belly in inhale the belly rises easy exhale the belly falls now we're going to add to that with some spinal cord breathing as you breathe in lift your fists up open your chest look up as you breathe out round your back the tailbone tucks under draw the belly button towards the spine fist to the forehead spinal cord breathing inhale look up exhale rounding the back looking in articulating through the spine feel the energy begin to move through the spine drawing the fists in rounding the back inhale so you're stretching the front of the spine the inside of the spine and on the exhale you're stretching the outside of the spine as you draw the belly in we'll do a couple more inhale waking up the spine articulating all the joints of the spine moving the energy up and down breathing in and out through the nose last one inhale to open look up exhale to round in looking in and then just relax your palms down so we're going to do a little tapping on the sternum, up and down the sternum to stimulate the lung energy. Up and down, gentle fists. And then you're going to take your right palm and slap down the inside of the arm and then up the outside of the arm, all the way to the neck and shoulders. Down the inside, up the outside. You can do this with a soft fist or an open palm down the inside and up the outside and then we'll take it over to the other side down the inside of the arm up the outside to the neck and shoulders down the inside up the outside one more time waking up the energy in your body and then just rub your finger fingertips fingernails together fingernails fingertips a lot of meridian endings in the tips of your fingers and in your hands so hands are very powerful there's a link between the hands and the mind waking everything up and then you're going to just bang the inside of your wrists together swap sides the outside bang the inside of one wrist against the outside of the other change sides and give your wrists a little shake let your elbows reverberate against the sides of your ribs give your wrists a little shake give your arms a little shake lift them all the way up all the way back down let those elbows shoulders relax just reverberate against your rib cage and then just relax and close your eyes. Feel the energy tingling through your body, through your palms, 
your fingers, waking up the energy in and around you. Now just relax your left ear to the left shoulder. Feel that line of tension in the neck. Then drop your chin to your collarbone. Feel the line of tension move back. And then you're going to roll your head back over the left shoulder, just staying on the one side. And then forward, rolling your head back. And then forward, back and forward and then we'll roll the chin down to the chest and all the way over to the other side just take a moment here let your shoulder blades slide back feel this nice line of tension drop your chin to the collarbone feel the tension move back and then you'll roll the head back so you're rolling that ear over the right shoulder so my left ear, my left shoulder, your right ear, your right shoulder, because I'm mirroring you, rolling it back and forward. So if you want to increase this energy, take your hands out to the side. I'll just move so that you can see. Fingers are pointing up. Try not to gather too much tension, but send some energy through the heel of your palm. Your fingers are pointing up. Drop the ear to the shoulder. And then little circles with your chin, little circles going in one direction, making the circles slightly bigger. And then changing direction, little circles and the circles getting bigger. Getting smaller again. Relax, float your head up and drop. Your right ear to the right shoulder. Feel that nice line of tension. When fingers are pointing up, heel of the palm pressing down. And then little circles with the chin. Around. Getting a little bigger, a little smaller. Then we'll change direction. Going the other way, a little bigger, a little smaller. And then float your head up to the sky. Now change the position of your hands. So I'm just moving so that you can see. Bring your fingers with to meet your thumb and your fingers are pointing down. So your hands, arms are spread out to the side, shoulders are relaxed, fingers and thumbs together and then drop your left ear to the left shoulder, make a circle down to the chest, over to the other shoulder, back and all the way back to your left shoulder pressing your fingers together making a little bird's beak and then let your head float up and over to the other side and then drop your chin to your chest all the way around a nice slow circle all the way back chin to chest you can do this as many times as you need. You can change direction. You can find where your particular area of tension is. You can, again, introduce the little circles one way and the other. And then when you're ready, let your head float up and just relax your hands down. I'm going to just move the camera back a little more. There we go. I want to make you travel safe with my wobbling here. There we are. Now, I want you to just sway a little side to side, softening. Just a gentle sway, a little forward and back, making sure that there's no tension in the body. And then we'll shift the weight to the right side and slide that left leg out. If there's tightness behind the knee, just bend the knee. You can bring the leg in a little closer or take it further out, depending on your range of motion. But wherever you are is a great place to start. So start from where you are. Hands are on the knees. Take a moment. And as you breathe in through the nose, let the top of your head float up. And then on the exhale, you're going to slide along the extended leg as far as you comfortably can. 
floating that other arm up to the sky. When you run out of that, just tipping over. It might feel nice to reach towards the toes, but there's no goal. The only goal is for you to find a nice opening in the right side of your rib cage. And as you breathe in, roll that top shoulder back, open your belly towards the sky, and then leading with your belly, with your center, turn the belly down and let everything relax forward. Rolling your belly open, turn your belly down, everything relaxes forward. Inhale, roll your belly open and we'll unwind with a twist. So cartwheel that top arm down behind your back and bring your left hand to the opposite knee. As you breathe in, grow a little taller. And as you breathe out, relax your shoulders and twist, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, soften, shoulders soften. You might find you can twist a little more. Take another breath. And then gently release, come back to the front. We'll lean back and we'll swap sides. Swapping legs might feel completely different on this side. So you can always bend this knee a little. You can bring the leg closer in or further out. Just relax. Take a moment to find a nice long spine as you breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, we'll slide along this extended leg, floating the other arm up. And when you run out of up, just tipping over. Maybe it feels nice to reach towards the toe with this top hand, but there's no goal, remember. Inhale, roll your belly open. Exhale, turn your belly down. Inhale to roll your belly open. Exhaling to turn your belly down. One more time, moving from your center, everything going along in the direction and the energy of your center. We'll unwind with a twist, so bring the right hand to the left knee. Inhale to grow a little taller. Exhale, soften your shoulders and twist, looking over your left shoulder. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to soften and twist a little more. One more breath. And then gently release, come back to face the front. So bring your legs in again, get nice and comfortable. If it doesn't feel good to sit cross-legged, sit however you can be at ease. Maybe putting a pillow underneath and lifting up a little. We're just going to take a little qigong meditation here so close your eyes become aware of your foundation your sit bones your tailbone and then i want you to think about the energy moving up through your spine as you breathe in the energy moving up through the spine through the neck to the top of the head and then into the very center of your skull where the third eye is and then we're going to let the energy move down through the center of your head, through your tongue, through your throat, through your chest and your heart center, through your solar plexus, down to your belly and then down to the what we call the sexual center, which is just above the pelvic floor and then down to the pelvic floor and then back towards your tailbone. And as you breathe in, send that energy up through the spine. So it's behind the abdomen, behind the solar plexus, behind the heart, up the back of the neck, up the skull, and then back to the center, and then down to the third eye. So it's going to go down through the center of your body on the exhale. As you breathe in, the energy travels up your spine, breathing in through the nose. As you breathe out, the energy travels down through the center of your body. So. This is called the microcosmic orbit in Qigong. Inhale, drawing the energy up through the spine to the top of the head. On the exhale, let the energy float down through the center of the skull, down through the tongue, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, to the stomach, all the way down to the pelvic floor. So take another breath like that. When you're ready, gently open your eyes and we'll finish off with an energizing breath. This is in yoga, it's called breath of fire. And um, in Qigong, in yoga, we in and out, in and inhale and exhale through the nose. In Qigong, we inhale through the nose and we exhale with a blow through the mouth, which is 
slightly less challenging. So that's what we're going to do today. As you breathe in through the nose, let your belly expand. Pause at the top of the breath and little exhales through the mouth. Drawing the belly in. So we'll do this together. Inhale into the belly. The belly rises. Pause at the top. And then you're going to pull your belly button in towards your spine on the exhale out through the mouth. And relax. So it really warms up the muscles of the belly. It's great before any practice. Also, it's great for the respiratory system and the lungs. So when you're ready, inhale into the belly, in through the nose, and then and relax. This time we're going to add the arms. So relax your shoulders, make soft fists, turn the elbows in just a little, inhale into the belly and And relax. We're going to do one more. So remember to pull the belly button in towards the spine. Great for the tummy muscles. Inhale, float your arms up and exhale, exhale. And relax. Whoa. Finish off with breathing in through the nose, bring the palms together at the top and then soften your thumbs into your heartbeat. Make that connection. Inhale through the nose, exhale, let it go. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Long exhale. One more. Inhale through the nose, all the way to the belly. Slow exhale. Namaste. So I hope that helped to wake you up a little, energize you, even if you're not mobile. Um, I have a Qigong yoga fusion class on a Monday at 10 a.m at Ushna Yoga Studio in Marbella. You're welcome to join me and have a wonderful day.